do you need a Christmas card like right now? Like you're about to leave in 10 minutes and there's going to be someone else at your gathering that you weren't counting on or a new guest is going to ring the doorbell soon. Today, I have a quick and simple card that you can make for the holidays and some ideas to step it up if you have just a bit more time, a bit more supplies. I'm Jess from JessCrafts.com and I'm here to help you make the most of your crafty supplies and time. For my super, super simple version of the card, I am starting with a white card base, nothing fancy, some thick card stock, whatever you got on hand. I'm taking a Distress Oxide ink and a blender brush, and I'm blending a circular oval shape in the center. I'm using just one color. We don't have a lot of time, can't get fancy here, but that blender brush is going to help me get that really soft blended out edge without too much work. Then I'm taking a word die and I'm cutting the background layer from some craft card stock and the word itself from white. That craft on white looks like gingerbread and so it's perfect for the holidays and that's it. That could be a card, but maybe you have a bit more time. You know, maybe it's just Christmas Eve and you could spend a little bit more time on this card. I'm going to instead use two colors of ink. I'm going to blend just a little bit more and add a little bit more contrast with that second color. Then I'm going to add a stamped image. I'm just showing you some examples from my stash, but you probably have some kind of Christmassy image, some kind of Christmas word dye, some kind of ink in your collection. You don't need to use Distress Oxides, you don't need to use this stamp set, this dye, whatever. In order to color my penguin, I gotta keep it quick. And just picking this penguin was important because I decided I wanted a penguin because they don't have a lot of colors. Although there's a lot of other Arctic animals that work well because they're kind of just white. I also picked it because it had a really simple shape to cut out. Maybe you don't have the coordinating dyes and fussy cutting can really eat into your time. But if you pick a really simple shape like this penguin, you could still fussy cut it. I added a little bit of interest by picking two colors for the black part of the penguin, a C9, C7, just because if I add a little bit of interest to that part, he'll feel less flat. But then I used a flat color for the orange, so like just one single color. And I did the same thing for the white belly. If you have more time, step it up, add more colors. Once I have got my image fussy cut out, I can also take a a black brush tipped marker and trace around the edges to make it look a bit more finished. But again, that dye would be more preferable. And I'm gonna pop them up. I usually use double layer of cardstock and cut it into strips and use my scraps that way to pop things up. But if you're going quick, this is the time to use the foam tape. It's worth it here and use that to pop it up instead. Popping it up makes a big difference. And you can even do that in the simple version of this card, pop up your joy word and that will give it an extra step up. Here, this one can be adapted to either one of the cards as well. I'm taking the snowflake from the stamp set and I'm stamping it around my focal image. I didn't want to add, even though I think critters really, and like, you know, stamping really adds a lot to a card. It can slow you down quite a bit. I'm kind of including it only in the step up, but those that little snowflake smattering around the joy could be perfect and it could be something to add if you, you know, once you complete the card and you're like, oh, hey, actually I have two more minutes, let me stamp on a couple snowflakes. For my last step up idea, my third card, I am going to make my ink area with a stencil instead. Again, I'm trying to keep the supplies limited. Each card has a few more supplies and Maybe you have a ton of stencils and you can grab one real quick and you could do that whole first card with a stencil. But I'm again gonna use two colors, my blender brush. This is a pretty delicate stencil, but tape is holding it just fine. We don't have time for pixie spray here or anything like that. Just a good amount of tape, low tack so that you don't have to worry about it ripping because nothing worse than if you were to finish your super quick card, peel off the tape and it rips. This really, even though it isn't that much slower than just blending, gives it a lot of impact. So again, I'm gonna come back to that Joy Word die. Again, gonna pop it up, same thing. But this time with the penguin, I did use a few more colors. I used two colors for the belly and the feet, and then three colors for the, um, the, the black parts of the feathers of the penguin there, just for again, a little bit more interest. Here are my step up versions. The basic one with the least number of supplies, the least number of time you've gotta get out the door, all the way up to the one that takes just a little bit more time. 
If you found this video inspiring, here's another video where you can find more ideas for enjoying your crafty time and supplies. Let me know you like this video with a share to your crafty community. Subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss the next template tutorial and check the video description for product links. See you in the next video.